Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick, this is Swivel Thinking, and in this video we're going to look again at our color scheme. Now we've been using this color scheme since the very beginning of the course, but unfortunately there were a couple screens where we forgot, or I forgot, uh, to add the color as the background of the screen. So in this video we're going to quickly uh, just fix and add our colors to all of the screens where we missed it. And then I'm going to show you guys how powerful this color scheme is, because with just a couple lines of code, we can change the entire color scheme in our entire app and give our app a whole new, fresh look. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, let's jump into Xcode and take a look. All right, so I am back in our Xcode project and we're pretty much done with this app. We're going to do a little tiny bit of code in this video, but it is very simple. So one of the beautiful things about when you create your app with good architecture is that everything is all connected and it is a lot more scalable. So for example, if we wanted to change our color scheme, we can do that from a single location in our app now because we know that all of our colors throughout our entire app are coming through our color extension. So if we ever wanted to change the theme, all we would have to do is change some of these colors and then our entire app would build out with those updated colors. And you can imagine how much more efficient this is than if we had, if we had used colors on every single screen in our app and we wanted to change a color, we would then have to go in to every single view and change the colors directly. But instead we can now just update our color theme. But before we actually do that, I do want to just test it out and make sure it's working because one of the issues that I realized looking back is that the color scheme that we're using, the background color in dark mode is actually black. And that's actually the regular background color in dark mode. So there are probably cases in our app that we didn't realize that the app's actually using the default black and not our theme black. So real quickly, what we're going to do is just change up the dark mode colors quick and run through the app and just make sure everything has updated correctly. So let's first go to the accent color where we have the pink and we're just going to do this temporarily, but let's change the pink to a, another color. So I'm going to click show color panel and let's do something that's very noticeable in our app. So I'm going to change it to maybe, uh, let's do this bright yellow. And let's just build and run. So it's not going to look really good for a second, but let's just make sure everything that was pink is now yellow. The loading screen is not going to update because we're not touching the launch colors, but we're just going to ignore that for a second. All right. So the yellow color looks like it's building and this actually looks pretty good. This is exactly what we had expected. Let's check out portfolio view. Let's edit portfolio. These colors are working. If I type in something here, if I click on one, uh, this actually all looks pretty good. We could possibly change the color. This is white if we wanted to make this yellow, but I actually kind of like it white. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And then let's check out the settings. And this looks pretty good as well. All of the stuff that was pink is now yellow and that looks good. All right. So the accent color we set up correctly. I'm going to press command Z to undo the the yellow to pink. Again, you can copy that from right here if you lost the color. Uh, the pink color is actually FAC, FFC is the hex. And now we're going to do the same thing for the background color. So let's click on this dark appearance, let's show the color panel, and let's change the black background to something that's a little more noticeable for us. So uh, let's do let's do this asparagus color. <laughs> Not a very good color, but it will be very obvious. I think the lemon will just be a little too bright to actually see what's going on, but the asparagus color is what I'm going to use. We're just using it temporarily, and we're basically looking for this asparagus color to be the background in our app. So changing it from black to this, this new color, this whole background should have this color reflected. But if we do still see black, that means the app's actually using the default black from the dark mode and not actually our background color. So let's build and run it one more time. And I think we're going to have a couple issues here, just small issues. So it is loading and then we can see the asparagus coming through up here. And uh, as we can see, the list actually still has this black background, which we don't want. So the first thing we want to do is update the list background here. So let's jump to the home view. 
And I'm going to go down to our list section here. So we have uh, the coin section using lists. And that is the all coins list. And then we have the portfolio coins list. So let's go down to the all coins list. All right, so unfortunately we can't add a background onto the list. That's actually not going to do anything. Um, but what we can do is change the background of each of these rows. Let's add it maybe down here. We'll add a dot list row background and we can set this to color dot clear. Let's actually just make it color dot red real quick just so we can see what's going on. So the background should be red. And that's what we wanted. So this red is going to be clear in a second. And one of the things I noticed is that if we scroll the list down a little bit, we actually still can see the background. We can still see the background on the list, which is black. And that is just a default setting that comes with table views. And this list is actually deriving from a table view. So what we're going to really do is this red, we're going to make clear. But if we made it clear, the background is still going to be black. So we need to actually change the background behind each of these rows as well. And we're going to go into the app.swift file. And in here, we already uh, updated this UI navigation bar appearance when we needed to change the, the navigation bar titles. And now we're going to also add the UI table view dot appearance. And we're going to call it dot background color and we'll set that equal to UI color dot clear. And this list is basically deriving from a UI table view. It's really a UI table view underneath, which is a UI kit component. So by adding this line, all of the UI table views in our app, so all the lists will by default have a background color that is clear. If we build and run this one more time, hopefully we can now see our actual background color behind the list. And if I scroll down, we can see the background color behind the list, but of course these lists are still black. So I guess this list row background dot color dot clear does not actually work. So let's just change it to color dot theme dot background. Build and run it one more time and now we should be all good. Sorry about that guys. All right, so now our background is our theme background, which looks good. And if we scroll down, it's still totally in the color that we want. Let's go to the portfolio view. And again, we need to change the background for this list as well. So this list row background, I'm going to copy. And let's put it down here on the portfolio list as well. Uh, let's click on the plus button here. So the edit portfolio. And then on this screen, Clearly the background of the screen is not being updated. This is just the default color that comes with dark mode. So let's jump to the edit portfolio view, which is our portfolio view. Inside this edit portfolio view, we actually have a scroll view. And on the scroll view, let's add a dot background. And let's do a color dot theme dot background. And let's just make it dot ignores safe area so it goes to the edges of the screen. I think that will work. Let's build and run that quick, make sure it still works. We can go to the edit portfolio view. All right, this is still coming through. If we type something, if we click on something, we have our background working, so this is good. And one more screen, if we go to the settings view, we can see that it is also still the old color. It's the default dark mode, not our background color. So let's also go to the settings view and let's try to update these colors. So what we're gonna do here is actually put this list, we're gonna create a Z stack, open the brackets. We're gonna take the list and I'm gonna cut it and put it inside the Z stack. This will be our content layer. And then we're gonna add a background layer. That will be color.theme.background.ignores safe area. Let's see, we should have the background across the entire view now. And I think we just need to update the list. So we have the background coming through and then we just wanna update the list row background for these sections. So for each of these sections, let's add a dot list row background. And I wanted to make this section background slightly off from the actual background. 
So let's use color.theme.background, but let's call maybe dot opacity of 0 0.5. So it's a little slightly different color than the actual background. I'm going to copy that and paste it on all four of these sections. Let's build and run it one more time. And it's going to look a little weird because this color is obviously not a very aesthetically pleasing color. But what we're getting at here is that we have the background color and we have these sections coming through with the slightly offset color. I think this looks good. And the very last page that we haven't looked at is the detail view. If I click on a coin, it's going to our detail view, which is clearly still in our default colors. We need to add a background color to this detail view. So let's go to our detail view. We have the detail view here and it is a scroll view which I think we can just add a dot of background and let's use our color dot theme dot background and ignores safe area build and run that one more time and now the background on this view is the correct color of course so now that we have our color scheme working, let's get rid of this horrendous looking uh, background color because this is actually probably the worst color I could have picked for this video. It looks terrible. Let's change our background color back to what we wanted, the black color. So zero, zero, zero here. Let's build and run it one more time just to make sure that we are back to our normal color scheme and it looks good. That looks awesome. And now what I want to show you guys is how easy it would be to actually just change out our color scheme. So we could change the colors here. That's definitely a very viable way to do it if we wanted to add light and dark mode options. But just for the brevity of this video, I'm going to jump into our color.swift file. And all we would need to do is change one of these colors to change out our theme. Or we could change out the entire struct for a new struct uh, that has an updated theme. So for a second, let's just add another struct called color theme two open brackets. I'm going to copy and paste all of these values. And then let's just change out the color. So maybe the accent color will be color, color literal. Let's do, let's do maybe the turquoise color. I'm just going to pick some random colors here. For the background, let's do a color, color literal. We could do maybe one of these dark blues. For the green color, let's do color, color literal. And we could do clover. For the red color, color literal. Let's do mm, cayenne. And secondary text, let's just do color, color literal, and we can make it a gray color, magnesium. Now I want to point out here that these colors are not adaptive for light and dark mode. This is going to be the same color in both modes, uh, while these colors are adaptive. But that's not what I'm getting at right now. What I'm getting at is that we can just change out our color theme for color theme 2. Add the number 2 there, build and run. And it was that easy with just a couple lines of code here to basically remake our entire app with a new theme. And the loading view is not updating because we didn't change out the launch colors. But just ignoring that for a second, we can see the rest of our app now looks pretty cool. And in just a couple lines of code, we were able to change the entire feel of our app. This doesn't look great with this offset, with this opacity color. Maybe we can make that a little different. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy that would be to change out the entire color scheme of our app. The final thing I noticed is that some of these back buttons, this is still using the pink accent color and not our new theme accent color. And so that's because this is part of the navigation view. So all we need to do is override this as well. We can go to the app.swift file. We can set the UI navigation bar dot appearance dot tint color and we can set it equal to a UI color and we can use our color dot theme dot accent. Build and run it one more time. And again, we're ignoring the launch screen. We can edit that in our, you can edit that in your own time. 
but now we should see the back buttons are the actual accent color and this is looking great and this is kind of just the beginning of some of this architecture and how powerful it could be uh, because we did it for the color theme but there's a lot of other things that you could do this same kind of technique for in the app for example, if we wanted to change out the fonts in our app, we could have all of the fonts reference a specific font struct so that we could easily change out the fonts. We could do the same thing for maybe different strings in our app. We could do it for maybe layout sizing or priorities. So if we wanted to change all the corner radiuses in our app, there's a lot of things that you can do and will want to do that, of course, we did not do in this project. But I do think this was a great start. I'm going to change the color scheme back to normal. I'm going to build and run, and really quickly, I just want to run through the app and just go over some of the really cool things that we added into our app here. And we are now officially done with the code for our app. So a big sign of relief. Uh, thank you to all of you who have been watching. I know this was a very long course, a lot of stuff to learn here. Some of it was very challenging, but I hope you did learn a lot throughout this course. I'm going to do one more video and in the next video we're not going to do any coding, we're just going to do some review on some of the features that we added to our app and maybe how you could take this app to the next level if you wanted to, keep working on it. So thank you guys for watching, as always I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.